This deserves a little red wine. I've been working for the past three months now with Arduino to replace um, the current system that works in the submarine. And cheers. I can't tell you how much I've put into this, but finally it's working. So I'm going to show you how this system is going to transform how my boat works. Before I begin, however, I need to show you roughly how it mechanically works so that you understand what all of this means. Okay, so first of all, if this is my submarine, basically the way it works is that we have quite, it's a, it's a fairly complicated ballast system. But in the middle, there is a ballast tank. And that's got a pump in, pump out mechanism on there and there is a breather tube that runs up into the conning tower. So naturally enough, if this is going to work, we have to, be, um, we have to break the surface in order to, to use that pump and empty the tank. But in the tank there's a piston, and the piston moves back and forth and quite dramatically increases or decreases the volume of water in there. So once this tank, the piston has filled that tank and I pull that piston back, I can move into negative buoyancy or positive buoyancy, and as soon as the, of course, the breather tube breaks the surface, I can turn the water pump on and the whole thing's fine. I've also got a bow trim tank and a stern trim tank that are connected together, and they work on a, with a peristaltic pump, and it's quite independent of everything else. The other things that make the boat work is a bow hydroplane, which previously I had attached to a depth keeping device which has now broken, which is one of the reasons behind my going to all this effort. And there's a stern hydroplane, which I'm not touching in this discussion because it's actually controlled uh, by the remote, but it's also controlled by a self-leveling device. Got the rudder and, and so on. But basically, that's how the boat works. And I've got complete manual control over, over all of those components. Very nice to be able to do that, but it's also quite complicated. So, let's look at Arduino. Mm -hmm. Glass of wine at the back. And this that you can see now is the very latest, what we call, sketch that I've written. And it's been done with a lot of help from a lot of people because I've only known about this program for a little while. So that's connected to the Arduino, which is this little item here, by a USB cord, which I'll do in a moment. And the wires from there are connected to other things through a, what's called a breadboard. Now the breadboard basically is a way of just connecting a lot of things to a lot of things without using solder. So it's a bit like a playground. So the inputs that I'm using uh, are first of all the radio receiver, which is a seven channel radio receiver. I've got four channels from that running straight into the Arduino. I've also got a pressure sensor just sitting in here in its own contained area. Uh, there's some good reason behind that. And the pressure sensor makes its way up to a bottle. Here obviously is a transmitter. Now the outputs that I've got are first of all this amazing array of eight relays which cost eight dollars. Can't believe the value of this stuff. And I've also got a little servo that's just a pretend servo sitting there so that I can, I can see how it all works. That's basically it. I've also got a battery over here that's powering the um, relays and the servo so it's not getting powered through the, through the Arduino. Alright, so let's see how all of this works. So now the whole thing is basically ready to go. And the first thing I'll show you, however, is, the, uh, is this. So I've used this channel for the ballast system. This, you hear the click? So I used the joystick for the piston and the trim tab for the pump. Now I've got the fifth channel which is just a knob and at 10 o'clock um, is pumped toward the bow, at 2 o'clock it's pumped toward the stern, at uh, 5 o'clock it's turned the water pump on for the to go out the gun, um, and I'll explain something else. This is the servo uh, working. You can see that it's going through the Arduino. But let me describe now 
what I really want to do because I can control all of this just like this currently. So I've got these three items. I've got the trim um, pump and I've got to say on the surface the boat looks fantastic if that is full which is one of the reasons why you're going to see what I want. So in the diving routine I want that to come on for 10 seconds. Then I want the piston to withdraw for 4 seconds. And then after the piston is finished I want the pump to pump in for however long it takes. I've got to measure this yet, probably 25 seconds. And then the boat is completely submerged. When it comes to surface, however, I want the very first thing to occur to be the trim pump to pump toward the stern for four seconds, the piston to push the water out for four seconds, and once that's occurred, the boat's going to rise in the water toward the surface, bow up. And at the end of that, it turns off. And then a second routine will kick in when the Arduino tells it that we're at the surface from the pressure gauge. The pump will turn on to pump out the tank, probably 40 seconds. And then the trim tanks will finish their work for six seconds at the end. And of course, all of this is completely accurate. So a double click to the left and away it goes. This is the diving routine. You can't see it properly but the little lights are coming on and telling you what's happening. So what I can do now is use the manual controls to get the boat right at neutral buoyancy about six or seven centimeters under the water and I'll work away at that and once I've got that done I'll then use this sixth channel to take a snapshot and then turn it on to automatic running. Now, as you can see, when the pressure goes up or down, the servo reacts. So the servo is keeping the boat at that particular depth, but you can also see the piston turning on and off. In this case, it's for one second every four seconds, just to move it if the boat's too high or low. I'm going to change that. I'm going to make it maybe one second every ten seconds. So that's the depth keeping routine. And once I've turned that on, the boat should basically stay at that depth with the combination of the hydroplane and the light adjustment by the piston. So now I've turned that off, I now want to go into surfacing routine. That's it. On they come. And then they turn off. And now we're waiting for the boat to get near the surface, so the rubber hose goes up and click, on it comes. How good's that? Now the one final thing that I've added to this is that if the power from the transmitter is turned off, everything shuts down, but the piston turns on to push the water out and get the boat to the surface. That's the fail-safe. And this, of course, is what I'm going to replace the Arduino with, a tiny one.